Hey everyone out there in YouTube land, how is everyone today? Well, let me see. Someone mentioned, one of my commenters, one of my subscribers rather mentioned that they were looking forward to my report and I think I get what you meant. You wanted to know what I learned from um, my experiences in my van thus far and specifically perhaps the most recent one. Okay, so I wrote this stuff down, so I'm going to be looking at a piece of paper down here. What have I learned, I call this. <laughs> Number one, I felt more conspicuous than I actually was, because really, no one noticed. There's all kinds of people that park in the Walmart parking lot for about a million reasons, other than shopping, so no one really noticed me. Uh, Number two, I felt very comfortable in my van very comfortable. Um, what do I mean by that? I mean that it felt like home, like, like, like it could be a home, like something I could be comfy in and relax in. That's what I mean. Number three, I learned that I want to cook in my van because what I did that day, I prepared the food at home and then I took it to my van. Whoopsie, I got something there. It's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Hmm. So much for putting that there to get my attention. It's got it now, hey? I need to know where to look so that I'm actually, there we go. Gotta work, it better work. Anyways, I want to do more than just eat in my van. Because like what I just said, I prepared the whole entire dish at home and then I brought it with me and Ate it there. All I had to do was put it in the storage container or open up the container. I can't remember exactly what I did. But I didn't do any cooking that much, I know. <laughs> there was no cooking done. So anyways, I want to cook in my van. I want to, I want to know what that's like. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lunch is coming back up a little. Anyways, yeah, I want to cook in my van. I want to, I want to use, and there's two different ways I can cook in my van. Number one is at the back of my van. Like I could lift up the back door and have a kitchen back there. And a lot of people with minivans do it that way. They lift up their back and back door and they stand under it because like, then it's like a um, weather shelter, right? And they do all their cooking there. But if it's a really, really, really bad day outside, like it's raining buckets sideways, my back door isn't going to cut it. It'll just rain on my butt anyways. So I'd like to cook inside my van and I've got those two back windows. I could open them up for ventilation and I've got a small stove. So one of these days I'm going to do a cooking with Tom episode in his van. Cooking with Tom in his van. <laughs> Won't that be fun? Are y'all looking forward to it? I am. <laughs> and I also learned that I would rather not boondock at a Walmart if I could help it. And a lot of van dwellers feel this way. I would rather be in the country. You know, I'd rather boondock out in the middle of nowhere and be faced with a bear than be faced with another human being. That's just me, I guess. Anyways. Oh, yeah. And I also, about, this is the same subscriber that was looking forward to this report. I hope this report is enjoyable for you. And I also, <coughs> excuse me, want to show you my t-shirt because you, you said my, the colors of my sweatshirt were a little bit bright and that it could have been a little more black and gray or something. And I'm thinking, well, how about this t-shirt? Check this out. How does that one strike you? <laughs> that a better choice? <laughs> I love Star Wars. Almost as much as I love Star Trek for different reasons. I love Star Wars because it's more of a fantasy and it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of humor in it and it's good acting, a good show, good series, good movie series. But I love Star Trek for different reasons. It's more serious, it's more cerebral, it's more, there's more science involved. Like Gene Roddenberry made sure of that he, like the stuff he predicted like a lot of that came true. It's amazing. There's a lot of gadgetry in Star Trek that has actually come to pass. I've actually watched a whole
entire documentary about it. It was quite interesting. But I'm not going to bore you guys with Star Trek and Star Wars. I've pretty much dabbled enough here now. I'm at, what, five minutes? Yeah. That's pretty much long enough, right? Yeah, okay. So this is this week's video. I might stick some B-roll on this. I don't know. We'll see what I do. All right. Anyways, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you want to see more of this wonderful content out of me, click that subscribe button. Smash it. All right. Bye.